Hey what's going on guys, Viper here and uh, today I'm bringing you guys my guide on how to build an airplane in Mob of the Dead. So there's a few things that you should know before going into this. Uh, if you're doing this in single player, you can actually run around the map and gather up all the parts. Uh, you know, you can gather all five parts and keep them on you at all times. And then just run up to the roof and build the airplane itself. Uh, but if you're doing this in multiplayer, you're actually going to only be able to carry one piece at a time per player. So, um, you know, if there's like four of you, you're going to have to go up to uh, to build the airplane and then come back down to get the last piece you missed. So uh, just be uh, just be aware of that when you're doing this uh, this process. Also, you're going to need the um, warden's key to actually open a few um, a few doors that you need to uh, actually get some parts. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So the warden's key will be located on one end of this hallway right here. Uh, you can tell which end it is because it'll be all lit up and it'll be kind of you know suspending there. You can just see it uh, just kind of hanging there and it's all you know shiny and gold and stuff. Uh, so what you want to do to uh, actually get to that warden's key is you want to go into the afterlife mode. You can see my teammate here on ZNV going to do it. Or maybe it's Wolfcore, yeah. Um, but my teammate actually just jumps straight up here. You can go into the afterlife and jump up right up there and then shock the little transistor, dropping the key down and then you just got to pick it up by pressing the X button. So once you've gotten the warden's key, the first step is going to be uh, right here in this little spiral staircase in the tunnels. Now you don't have to do these in order, you can actually get any parts you want in any order you want. But I'm just going to show you guys this one first. So what you want to go, uh, what you want to go and do is go into the afterlife mode and uh, run down these stairs. And you're going to notice these numbers on the left hand side, so I've got 1, 2 and 0. Now, <laughs> I actually ran into some trouble here, I did, I forgot to open this lock. Uh, you're going to need to do, um, do that in real life mode with the, uh, with the uh, warden's key. Uh, so I have to have my teammate run down here and open it for me. So make sure that is open before you do this, and especially in single player, you're going to lose uh, a point um, if you don't have that open. So just enter the numbers, uh, run back up, uh, revive yourself, and then right at the bottom of the stairways, uh, the repair should be located. You can see it's kind of like on a pulley system, and it's just going to drop down. You can actually hear it and see it dropping down. So I just run to the end of the hallway, and it should be right there. So the next part is located down on the docks in this sort of computer engine room. So again, go into the afterlife, and I think you need to go into the afterlife for most of these pieces, maybe not one or two. Uh, but right here, I go into the afterlife, and you need to shock all of these computers or transistors or whatever they are. So there's one, there's the second one. Run through the wall, uh, and I actually can't find it here, but you just got to run through this wall and shock the final one, which is around the corner here. And uh, now the piece actually doesn't spawn in this room. Uh, usually for these uh, these steps, the piece will be in the general vicinity, but uh, this piece actually spawns up in the warden's office. So once you have the warden's office open, you just run in here, and uh, I'm just looking around here, but right in that room there, you can see it glowing, and there you go. Now if you tr if you don't do that step, uh, that door will actually be locked and be all like electric-y and stuff. So make sure you do that step before you actually uh, go into the warden office and try to pick it up. So this next part is a little bit different. It's right on the docks here, and uh, you need to go into afterlife and shock this little uh, this little button here, which will open the gate. In single player, you can actually run in there yourself, pick up the part, and then walk back out, and the gate will close behind you. Uh, in multiplayer, you need to have a teammate run in there because the gate the gate will actually uh, close behind him. So uh, once you open it for your teammate, you need you then need to open it again once he has the part to actually set him free uh, and get him out of that little cage. This next part is located in the showers, and uh, once you come in here, or like at the meat room, I guess, because everyone's just dead and hanging by themselves. But uh, anyway, once you come in here, what you need to do is shock that little that little button again behind you, uh, then activate the washing machine. Now the washing machine will start its cycle, and as it does that, you can see up in the top left there, the door actually sets on fire, so there's no escape, uh, and zombies start spawning everywhere. It doesn't matter if you do this at the end of a round; zombies will just come out of everywhere. So make sure uh, you are well equipped to uh, deal with these zombies. Uh, and then once the uh, washing machine has done its cycle, you should be able to uh, go ahead and pick up the part. So there you go, pick up the part, and it actually is a jacket. Don't really know why you'd need a jacket for a uh, plane flying, but uh, there you go. So the fifth and final part is located right underneath the roof by uh, Deadshot Dacry and by that little demon. Just right here in the cabinet, just pick it up. You don't even have to go into afterlife or anything, just simply pick it up uh, and go to the airplane and assemble it. So that is pretty much it for this guide, guys. If you did enjoy, please leave a like below. Also, this may be going up on Yosh Reloaded, and I just want to say a big thanks uh, to Rick and um, OG, OG Walrus for actually accepting me to be a director over there. So um, thanks very much to those guys, and uh, thank you to everyone who's watching this on Reloaded. Uh, also, my link to my channel and stuff will be in the description. But, um, but yeah, anyway, guys, if you did enjoy, uh, do be sure to leave a like below um, and share with your friends and stuff so they can do it also. But uh, anyway, guys, you can see here we're landing on the Golden Gate Bridge. Pretty freaking sick. And uh, there is the pack a punch right ahead of us, and you get that achievement, 75 gamer score, pretty freaking awesome. So anyway, guys, um, if you did enjoy, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video.